Yo, yo, it's Rangulius here. Thank you for watching. Wrench feels like playing Withering Rooms. We're gonna continue playing here. Just, uh... Starting to understand, uh... How to play the game a little bit here. Outcast Diary. Did we already read this one? I believe so. Maybe not. So, Outcast Diary, 1886. Each night I explore the boundaries of its magnificent and horrifying gift. I am eternally grateful to Dr. Blackett, though he asserts he does not believe in God. It is plain that he has been chosen to do its, his work. Inelegantly, the previous occupants of the house exposed the dream of, to magic. Cosmic concepts have been clocked in the false vocabulary and childish sigils of the 17th century charlatans. It will take decades of study to properly harness its magic. Thankfully, I have plenty of time. Okay. okay, we're gonna keep exploring the basement. Take a peek in here. Boiler room. I hear something. I'll open it up. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Let's roll out of the way there. Um. Roll. Heavy attack. Get out of there. Okay. body cup of tea healing item now a now cold cup of caffeinated tea still drinkable despite the odd flakes of clumps of to the on the surface uh 25 health five speed for 30 seconds corrupted liver offering the heavy liver of a particularly large living corpse emma has been playing cruel japes and on the older corpses decorating them with lanterns and armor and making them battle each other absolutely no respect for the dead giant maid corrupted liver hearing whispers and stomping about all hours so you'll still have to worry about the other guy who's kind of running around don't hear him though um let's heal three heals we have food Cup of tea, a scone. Let's do the scone. And let's do a magic. We have a... We're pretty corrupt here. Hmm. Just keep going. So I hear him in the basement. So he went back to the basement. I can hear him, I just don't know where he is. It's kind of... I'm gonna go in now. Here, eight. What does that mean? Maybe hide here? Hide here? Hide. Nope, can't hide there. Sweet Millie, dead girl. In the dark, I can almost see her. Our number game. West, east, and white lead. The other two are where we laid our heads. Boiler room note. Sweet Millie, dead girl. In the dark, I can almost see her. Our number game, west to east. In white lead. 
in white lead. Maybe white lead. Other two are where we laid our head. So, I have to probably roll out of the way here. Yep. And eight is the number here. Oh, shit. What's this little guy? Oh, I accidentally killed him. What's this body? Little wretch. Filthy wretch has found its way to animate its creepy little dolls. Well, I killed him by accident, but... And then I'll search this one. Poison leaf. Okay, so we really need to heal our curse damage. So uh, I guess I put out a candle. Got another cup of tea. So let's put out a candle. We have six of them. Yeah, every time we roll, we take curse, but. Kinda need to roll. Okay, let's peek in here. Laboratory, it's a safe zone. Let's just go in then. See what this is about. Search this. Got a couple empty jars. Outcast Diary, 1887. Progress is slow. I have no students. The dream has become overrun with revolting disease-infested corpses. That detestable butcher surgeon transformed the dream into a nightmare and now has the audacity to linger here. He asserts Dr. Black hired him, but I cannot believe God would have mislaid one of his chosen ones. We need fresh occupants free of disease with minds open to Christ's wonders. So this is a very heavy religious game, it seems. I don't know what's going on. Ah, you must be Nightingale. I've heard wonderful things about you from my daughter, Margaret. This is Blackett. Dr. Robert Blackett. I'm... Okay, I do apologize for not coming to visit you sooner. Oh, I see you started staring at my head. Nothing to worry about. Cut my head open on a low doorway. We old men bleed so easily. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm afraid you caught me at a bad time, as I must be heading upstairs. I'm sure we have plenty of time to get acquainted here in the dream. For now, feel free to use my laboratory. You seem a like a clever girl, so I'll let you borrow my basic lab mat. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Nightingale. Alright. Kinda like walking like a zombie, but okay. Acid jar, poison jar, tonic jar. Might as well craft some things. So let's craft that. Craft that. Tonic jar, paralysis jar. Let's do that. A tonic jar, a powerful healing tonic, 50 health, and heals poison sometimes. So, I kind of feel like that's probably a really good thing to do. So, I'm just going to keep doing this one until it's empty. And then, highly corrosive acid in a jar has a splash radius, so anything throwing this jar is advised not to be too close to the target. That makes sense. Acid is the most effective tool against the undead, but sight of melting flesh is most unfortunate. And then jar of foul smelling purple poison will all be carefully as a high splash radius. I have not managed to get a microscope working properly in the dream, but I suspect the toxic mechanism of these plants to be identical to that of the miasmic clouds produced by the corpses. Interesting. And then the paralysis jar, a jar filled with neurotoxin that causes paralysis. Useful for stopping the undead long enough to give them a good thrashing. Paralysis is suspiciously effective in the dream. Perhaps 
Peter put those Eaton acting skills to the to use when demonstrating it. Crafted as many as I could, and we will move on. What else is in here? Case notes number two. Officer Roland Bryce, Mammoth Constabulary, uh, July 29th, 1881. History of Dr. Robert Blackett. Made a fortune as a talent doctor in Boston treating unusual cases. Took a trip to China in 1860, possibly to avoid war in USA. Left China for England, bringing half Chinese daughter Margaret with him, mother unknown. Unsubstantiated rumors of heavy opium usage. Met Peter Mostyn in 1878. Robert and Margaret moved to Mostyn. Three years later, Peter dead and Robert owns Mostyn House. Okay. Coincidence. Skeleton holding a candle. Okay, let's use a spell. Let's give ourselves some armor. Adds quite amount of uh, curse damage, but uh, we'll take it. Um, and then we can go back to the pipe. Another door here, go peek through. Oh, the kitchen. Okay, so continuation of quests. One of our quests is uh, meant to be in the kitchen. So, is this the butcher? Butcher surgeon. Ah, you must be the new boy. Just so you're aware, the last boy died of sepsis. He did not listen carefully to my instructions. I need you to find a way to get these accursed lights working again. It's too dark. The gas must be shut off in the boiler room. Okay. I do believe the boiler room is pretty full of monsters. Over here, west basement staircase. Yeah, let's take a look at the map. Boiler room is right there, so might as well uh, head over there. We have a bit of armor. Wonder if we try and use. I'm a little worried about using another spell right now. We might want to get a little bit more resistance to uh, curse there. Are we already messed with the boiler room? Right. Inspect this. Okay, so that was eight over here. It's west to east, white numbers. So eight. Case notes three, so that's another that's another case notes. Search this. Top hat. Permanent medium headwear. A modest black top hat adorned with purple lace flower. It frames your face in an odd way. You'd better be uh, tossing it at you're better off tossing it at the zombie. Five poise, medium weight, receives 1% less physical damage, minus one speed. So like all this stuff is kind of like minusing my speed. So weight is obviously a thing, but I guess we'll just keep doing this. Um, search this, poison leaf. I guess we'll read the case notes number three. Officer Roland Bryce, Monmouth Shower, Mon Monmouth Shire Constable uh, July 30th, 1881. The postmortem has ruled Peter's death as alcoholic, cardiomyopathy. Cardio Although the performing doctor notes some irregularities. 
The transfer of Mostyn House to Robert Blackett following Peter Mostyn's untimely death is suspicious. However, given all Peter's immediate family is deceased, it is not so unusual to be implausible. It is officer's opinion that investigation should be closed. Okay. It is kind of suspicious. That's kind of what I was thinking, but... Okay, so if we do this... It's eight. So... I'm assuming we have to explore some rooms here, because we only see the number eight. In the dark, I can almost see here a number game, west, east, and white lead. The other two are where we laid our heads. Are there rooms down here? Are the bedrooms down here? I'm assuming there's probably bedrooms down here then. It's a bedroom? Servant's bathroom? No. Is there a bedroom? Did I just get cursed by stepping on that? Wine cellar? No. Servants quarters, A. So I'm gonna go in here. Eight. Okay, so the number eight. Let's search here. I'm gonna hide because I'm kinda worried. I don't hear them coming, so I'm gonna go. There's definitely an enemy there. Okay, we're gonna go to the other bedroom. Open this. Seriously, there's no handle. This servant's quarters B. I hear one. Probably right at the door there. No, wait. Can't hear it going by. Sounds like he's in the middle of the door. Now he's going to the room. Okay. Let's wait a second. We're gonna go now. Oh shoot, that was bad. So you got like boys break there. Roll away. So I hit him again. Six. So eight, eight, six. Oh shoot. I need to kill him. I need to kill him. I need to kill him. Okay, good. We got him. I'm bleeding. We well, got some bandages, heals any bleeding buildup. Let's do that. We got that. And then we will heal ourselves. I guess we didn't need to uh, waste a bandage, but we'll uh, do that. Search the body. Old wooden shield, left hand. Okay, cool. A decorative shield, purportedly Viking in origin. Purportedly? Cool. Can block most attacks, although will eventually break. Poise increases effectiveness. 180 durability. Blocks 80% of physical damage. Blocks 55 fire. Blocks 30 curse. Blocks 80 other damage. Hold left trigger. Heavy zombie. Cholera patient. Corrupted heart. Corrupted finger. Now there's a proper brute. She's got the idea for shield from being Albert all dressed up in armor. I'm not gonna use that right now because I need the lantern. So we have six. So eight, eight, six. Eight, eight, six should be the passcode. Nine, four. We're kind of uh, in a little predicament with our health and curse, but let's just keep going. So go back to the boiler room. Service bathroom.
Piss the boiler. Back. We we'll go eight, eight, oop. Um, six, eight. Okay. Is that it? Looks like the light's on. Perfect. So I can turn the lantern off and I can swap out the shield. Perfect. Wonder if that'll stop the uh, guy running at you. Probably not. That guy's a freaking bitch to fight. Okay, um... I guess we'll go back. <sighs> Don't roll. Wait. Shouldn't be rolling unnecessarily. Not how you run. Talk to the butcher again. This patient is dying. I need you to run to the laboratory to craft a tonic jar. I've already done that. Uh, yep. You might just be of use, boy. What do you want, boy? Talk. Yes, boy? Butcher. I do have a name, of course, but I'd rather not sully my reputation in the real world. Finding work has been difficult for my old-fashioned craftsmen, like myself. So I have to do things I am not proud of. That bloody foul Joseph Lister is my turn has turned the art of surgery into a complete farce. Dr. Blackett offered me top pay for a simple job. Each night I was to deliver him with fresh corpses and dissect them. He claimed he was starting a medicine school, but there was no students. The bodies were to be anatomized in front of a curious window. The observer cloaked in shadow. A few nights later, when I awoke in the dream, the truth was made clear. I had been hired to introduce the dream to the medical operations of the human body. I had been hired to introduce the dream to the mechanical operations of the human body. Now I stay on. Assisting Dr. Black, yes, but performing my own investigations as well. Dream. The dream affords me to the rare opportunity to study the human body in exact in detail. Each night, the dead were reanimated anew, so I can truly practice in a way impossible in the real world. When I first arrived in the dream, I performed many experiments on willing subjects. Well, mostly willing, I think. Progressing requires sacrifices, no? For instance, I spent a few weeks slicing one's gentleman's Achilles tendon in a different ways each night. As you can imagine, he grew stark raving mad, but at the end I was able to consistently repair that hobbled foot. Don't even get me started on what I learned about the brain. Okay. Okay, that's pretty twisted. It gives me flashbacks of freaking hostile. Uh, I believe I'm still alive in the real world. And in a way, a few more nights, I'll awake as usual. So this guy can, like, Traverse, like, come in and out of the dream. Initially, I had only the faintest memories upon waking, but over time, I have learned to retain more. As soon as I wake up, I pick up a scalpel and retrace what I had practiced in the dream. Additionally, I believe there is a way to escape the dream at will, but I certainly won't tell you about it, my little secret. Also, if I ever hear you sneaking around Molson's mausoleum, I will cut your eyes out. Okay. 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 Well, 
Foster Mausoleum. Oh, I see. You're not the new boy. You're a puppet. Uh-oh. 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 So he's... Really? That was fast. So. Do I run away? I think I turn to... I, I think I use a twig and try and run away. If I can. I'm going to snip your strings. Okay. I'm probably getting attacked right now. Here yep. She is. Okay. New quest, butcher, surgeon, kitchen, wants, tonic jar, crafted in laboratory, quest completed. Try not to get hit by him. He's strong. So we're just gonna run away. Oh, I can't. I'm dead. Uh, what does ringing the bell do? Opens up a door. Let's maybe let him come. Roll past him. Ah, that sucked. And then run and hide in the closet. Hide. Ah, crap. He's probably gonna see me. Oh. Damn it. That's hilarious. Okay, that sucked. So, I think that's like my first true death. Okay. So I died. I still have my camera. But I lost everything else. Wow. Okay. You definitely don't want to die. Damn. Wow. Okay. Wine cellar. Inspect. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. dying that was, that really freaking sucked so we have to kill the butcher we can go free Felix I guess we'll go do that for now because we kind of messed up all the enemies respawn too so that really sucks Phantom's ring. Just wear this. A magical ring. Where is over 50% cursed. A faint violent glow around their feet. Footsteps have been much harder. I'll just equip that for now. Um, I need a weapon. I yet. How do I get a weapon? Flying scroll. Yep, 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 yep. He is here. Okay. Okay. He can hear. Boiler room. Let's not go in there. Um where was that guy? Here. Kitchen, that's where the butcher is. We don't have a weapon. 
Servants quarters A. Leaves, but I'm really nervous. We need a weapon. I don't know how to get a weapon. Here. Sword. Search. Leave. Open. Crescent ring. Spell ring. A ring with a crescent moon painted on it. Moderately boosts spell damage. A dear price must be paid for power. That is less than you would have learned in the real world had you survived. 20% spell damage. That's. Empty jar. Coin. Where was that dude and his dog? You have the rusty cage key. I'm sure it was tossed somewhere smelly and disgusting down here. Oh, you will not regret this. Not one bit. Felix and Horace. Let us dust ourselves off and we'll meet you upstairs in the study. So, there's a way to traverse with like those bookshelves. This doesn't do anything. Hopefully. How can I go on? Come on. So we definitely need to kill the butcher, it seems. But I need weapons. Servant's bathroom. There's an enemy in there. I don't want to go in there. Search everything. Okay, finally, I got a pipe at least. Kind of my favorite weapon, so let's mount that. Search in here, crafting. So I might want to try some crafting. Oops. Service quarters B. So if I craft some jars, which I could do, where could I do that? Where was I able to do that? in the lavatory, right? So, let's go. Might as well rip this down. I don't know why I wouldn't. Crap. We can do a paralysis jar. Two paralysis. Three. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna hit that dude with some paralysis jars. Hopefully, I can swap in and out. We got some healing items. Nice, nice. The only thing we don't have is curse relief. Okay, maybe we'll peek every time. So I see her again. Um, where do I wanna go? Do I wanna even just try the butcher right now? I have two healing items. So. It's probably stupid, but let's give this a go.
What the hell is that? We're gonna go in there. And... Kinda nervous. Okay. Ah! Oh! Did the... Oh crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Stunned it. I hit it again. One more time. Two more times. Oh no. Oh no. I need to hit it. Got it. I got it. And I'm almost dead though. Corrupted meat. Healing item. A greenish chunk of meat has no value in rich but can be reluctantly eaten to restore some health. Unfortunately, it's highly poisonous and must be chased with an antidote. I'm hungry, but no, not that hungry. So, you get 75 health and become poisoned. Offer a corrupted heart. Cut the, I open the bag and see what's inside, and I'm still not sure. Okay, so I got corrupted heart, got antidote, got, okay, I got a couple there, so it's not bad. Poison leaf. Bullet room note, dirty red. Okay. Eat the scone. Definitely need to be a little bit more patient, I think. So, oh, 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 shit. She didn't see me. She didn't see me. She didn't see me. She didn't see me. No, no, no. Clearly, I need to find like a handle or something. Let's search. Medicine. Poison leaf. I guess I should have really paid attention and like used all that stuff last time when I was at the butcher. That would have been probably pretty smart. So, this is the guy with the shield. Definitely want that shield. Oh, perfect. Didn't even need to uh, fight him. Okay, so I'm going to change this up a little bit. So we're going to go. Projectiles. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Up there. Okay, so we have a pipe and a shield. I use the shield, that's how you swing your pipe. Got a tiny bit of health. little bit of healing, some paralysis stuff. Try and sneak past here, not taking any damage. Pass me. Must be careful with fire. Yeah, dying really sucked there. What do I really have for healing here? I only really have a one more frickin' twenty five percent health. 
and a 75 health. Not all that great. I could craft healing and poison. Man. I'm gonna be dumb and we're just gonna try this again. Some paralysis. So if we go and paralysis jar. Okay, so we can't throw it very far. Moonless form paths connect the past to the present. Light this candle to open its path. So long as you do not leave this room, death will not death will return you to this moment. So I can practice. Well seems cheeky, but I'm gonna practice. So, okay. Classroom, waste basement staircase. So that probably actually leads to upstairs, maybe. Huh. So am I still up here? So we will. Talk to him again. Molson Mausoleum. So we're gonna fight him. And we're gonna throw this at him. He's paralyzed. Oh, oh fuck. Kinda messed that up. I'm paralyzed too. That was really dumb. I think I'm just gonna let him kill me. Try this again. Can we just? No, I don't want to. Yeah. Try this again. Oh, there you are. Oh. So. Kind of hard to aim. I'm gonna try throwing at him right now. Can I just freaking throw it at him? something and keep 
that. Oh, I can't attack. I'm dead. I'm just gonna keep that. This is not easy. Found you. Damn, man. It's kind of like hard to like aim. Okay, let's get out of there. That's oh, of course. Throws his sword at me, or his whatever. Okay. That's for sure. So I became paralyzed too. Kind of useless as hell. If I become paralyzed as well. understand how to fight in this game without dying. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk past him for now. I guess I don't. I don't know what else to do here. I'm not gonna be able to beat him. Sulfuric acid. Some kind of hole in the wall. I wonder why it makes you remove the covers. Like, if there's a reason to actually have them covered. Okay, west staircase, did I just go upstairs? It looks like I went upstairs. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm on the basement, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I hear, Let's search. I got yellow crafting wax. What's this? So this is, is this an enemy? Kind of, it's kind of, Acting like it's an enemy. I've been Human finger. Long. Another oh. one. Oh, great. I see you. So this is a witch. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, I don't know what to do there. Maybe go to nowhere. This is a little frustrating. Um, slot. Um, let's make the pipe, just cause. What is this? No, I'm good. They swap spots. See if I can buy some stuff here. Let's go warding. 
by three of those. Oh, what did I miss out on? Bandages? Buy a couple healing potions. We bought three of those. Laboratory. Craft. Let's go tonic. Hopefully we're faster. Was that a new room that we were in after we went up that staircase? West staircase. Strange bedroom. I feel like I have to press this and just try this. Oh, your body is too weak to activate the triumph. Purge your body of negative status effects and heal yourself. This form path. Let's, let's do this. So let's try. Let's try this again. We have a couple more healing. Capabilities. Found you. So let's actually go. Oh. It doesn't seem possible to hit him without getting hit there. I got a couple of licks I can get on them. Oh, come on. Press the wrong button. Come here, child. What? What? Quite difficult, I must say. Yeah, I don't know how you do this game. I probably just need better stats, more patience. Maybe I don't even need to fight him right now, and I'm just kind of being ridiculous. Maybe I'm just overthinking it? Did he 
heal himself? Damn. Can I heal myself again? What? I was blocking. I almost got him. I almost like hit him. Hit him. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Nope, not yet. I eat that. And then do that. He's gonna throw his thing. I can hit him again. I almost got him. I almost got him. I got him. Wow, that was hard. Right idle eye. Permanent key. The right eye of an ancient stone idol. Small glimmering lights can be seen within. Name your price. We will pay it. I will find a way to transform this home if it kills me. Remembrance, remembrance tear. Permanent offering. A tear-shaped drop of blessed blood. Shed only by those who once made offerings at Remembrance Shrine and be dropped into a remembrance shrine to remember an additional item. Dripping your hand in that pool of blood has consequences. You are forever changed. Surgeon's blood. Defeat the foe in the basement. Corrupted heart. My father hired him in some anatomization help. Dreadful man. Find a use for the right eye. Perhaps Margaret knows something. Okay, well, I finally did that. Sweet. I really, really wish I didn't die the first time. I really wish I had some uh, knowledge and freaking healed myself. I had so many healing things. I had so many, like, a lot of stuff. Well, now I know the price of dying is really high. I already kind of knew that, but damn. Where do I go next? Let's go. Back upstairs. Margaret. So where is Margaret? Oh, oh, this is where the stupid Okay, so that's my- Oh, she's following me! I gotta run away. I'm running away. Oh, there's a little guy. What is- What- What- are They, like, go and clean up? Or what? They don't attack me. Basement. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with the candelabra person here. Or we just walk by her. She's walking that way. Open night. Okay, yeah, there's another there, so. I think we'll have to hide here. And wait for her to turn around. Unless there's another table, there might be another place to hide. Probably not, though. That was probably it. Yep. Yep. Okay, we'll wait. Come on. I don't feel like losing any hit points right now, so let's go uh oh, no. go through the door. East basement staircase. Let's go up. Um possible. Guest bedroom. Oh, yeah, no, we're not going in there. That blue wax times two. He can hear what's in here. Study. Yeah, let's maybe hit the study. What's in here again? Welsh country house five. Welsh country houses. 
It's not clear how, but Peter became so enamored with two such travelers that he would end up bequeathing Mostyn House to them. They were the American physician Robert Blackett and his half-Chinese daughter, Mark. Nearby, Monmouth residents reported Peter looking incredibly pale and poor health in 1880. In 1881, Peter, the last surviving member of Alfred Boston's family, died suddenly in a faded, failed heart. Suddenly of a failed heart. Although foul play was suspected, Especially after he was revealed that Mostyn House was left to Dr. Blackett, there was no concrete evidence. Okay. So this is Margaret. Thank you for rescuing Felix and Horace. I'm not sure who locked them up, but I have my suspicions. Also, you have met my first, the first witch. Be cautious around her. She is highly secretive and experts and exerts a high degree of control over her initiates. Also, you killed the butcher servant. That's a tremendous news. I am not one to celebrate the death of a fellow human being, but the butcher wasn't quite human, was he? You should proceed at once to Boston Mausoleum with that objective you found. It must be some sort of key. The mausoleum can be found deep in the hedge maze. Some of the path through the maze may be invisible to the naked eye. You'll need to sufficiently curse to see through the illusions. Okay, interesting. Questions. I've already asked these. Okay. Find a way through the hedge maze and enter the mausoleum. So I have to get cursed. And uh, make my way to the hedge maze. So I can speak to the Felix and the, uh, I forgot I was in the basement when I rescued them. I thought he was going to head up to like the, the attic or whatever, or the next floor. Um, Monster's chest one. Monster's chest. Thank you for your purchase of Poncho's chest, a unique and exciting new take on the traditional game of chess. Before we explain how each unit operates, you'll need to understand some terminology. Perception. As perception increases, the unit can see spirits from further distance and detect increasingly sophisticated hexes and illusions. Poise. With units higher poise are less likely to be stunned or knocked over by attacks. Speed. A speed value of 115 initiates the unit performs all actions 15% indicates that the unit can perform all actions 15% faster than normal. Luck. A luck value of 200 indicates double the likelihood of finding rare or expensive items, as well as 10% more coins found. So that's just overall stats and stuff. Okay. Just a better understanding of stats. Ah, good to see you again. Now that we are free, Horace and I would like to offer you a special service. As I understand it, the witch in the basement is always looking for offerings. Fingers, hearts, and sort of thing. I don't know much about witchcraft myself, but I do know how to procure these offerings. You see, Horace and I are skilled hunters, always in search of our next target. So you just left. You just let me know if you'd like us to go hunting, and I'm sure we could make a deal. Okay, so I don't always have to like kill the monsters myself in order to get these uh, higher items and like stuff okay so human fingers cost seven coins corrupted fingers cost three well I need two human fingers Murder is sometimes necessary for the greater good. In this case, the very fate of the world is at stake. It's critical we act swiftly. So I'm gonna buy two of these if I can. Just bought two of those. And we're gonna move on. Excellent, we'll be right back. I hear gunshots. 
Here we are. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Definitely would like to take shield for the uh, next item. Creepy doll tool that I've never used yet. Definitely like my lead pipe. Okay, so we have to head to the maze. What else? Find another blue bookshelf secret passage. So we can get cursed and go to the maze. Mother remembers. We were her bricks and blood her mortar. I don't have any corrupted fingers to place there. Where was the one where I needed human? Spirit twigs and warding candles. Camera, Bible, Curse Explorer ring. Ring of. I don't have pretty much any of that. So we need to be cursed a bit. So let's take some curse. I'm gonna go to like 25. I guess we could roll to. here. Definitely gonna have to fight someone. Whoa. Whoa. That's a big boy. Um. Okay. So let's get our camera. Okay. Peek again. Big boy. Just farted. Made a glass cloud. Okay, so we go now and take a picture. Out of plates. Okay, so we can't. Okay, we are gonna. Out of plates. Damn. What the hell? I am not very confident that I can fight these guys without, like, damn. Maybe let's go get some plates, I guess? I didn't know you needed plates. Kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I just didn't know that. Oh, what's this? Hedge mates. I hear... Fire? We don't have any photos. Can't even use that. It's another edge maze. I hear stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? Okay, fast moving enemies. Oh shoot, we're dead. We're dead. I'm definitely dead. Nothing. Yep, surprised. Surprise, surprise. Freaking hell, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, we're dead. We're probably dead. I gotta go. We're gonna roll. We're gonna run. If I know how to run. 
seemingly don't know how to run. Oh man, we're dead. Yep. Wow. I just died again. Didn't I? Yeah, I'll probably just die again. We're gonna have to run. I don't understand. Damn it, damn it. We're gonna die. Yep. This is ridiculous. Yep, we're gonna die. I can't believe it. Again? I'd like to just get out of here. I'm kind of lost now. Awesome. There's our second death. Well, damn it. Looks like I'm gonna have to go and find a bunch of items, it seems. Before I really decide to go back to the hedge maze. Damn. Okay, well. That was Wrench Feels Like Playing. <laughs>